Welcome to 21 Day Mind Detox. My name is Danielle Henderson. I'm the presenter of the program. Our celebrity guests include Meg Matthews and Wendy Lee. We also have on our panel Dr. Marvash Hussain Gambles, MBE, Dr. Manjir Samantha Lawton, MD, Helen Taylor, and Janine Regan Sinclair, who is the driving force behind this program. The women here have all kindly volunteered their time to help put this program together. They all have a common goal, that is to help people find the solutions to health problems relating to alcohol and drugs, both mental and physical. We're about to discuss exactly what drugs, alcohol and recreational drugs do to your body, physically, energetically and spiritually. We'll be focusing on how some mental illness and dis-ease, such as IBS and chronic fatigue syndrome, could be caused by entities we'll be looking at spirit attachments in relation to panic attacks and addictions. We suggest alternative solutions where viewers can go for confidential help when their GP simply does not have the answer or to prescribe them long-term drugs to lessen symptoms they cannot cure, such as non-specific pain. According to Meg Matthews, the 21 Day Mind Detox is a solution to addiction people have been waiting for for hundreds of years. Having had the detox in March 2010, she's still free of her cravings and her habits. Meg is a well-known interior designer and creator of Nutrition Rocks. She still has a very public problem with addiction in the past that led her to entering rehab for depression. It did not cure the addiction and the problem returned. Ex-wife to rock legend Noel Gallagher, she was one of the Primrose Hill party goers, partying with the rich and famous until one day she decided Enough was enough and sought help. Meg, if you don't mind, please tell us when you realised you had a problem with addiction. It was about the summer, um, I just had my 40th birthday and it was the World Cup. And what did Janine do for you? All right, first of all, she did one thing which really worked for me was um, you have these like spiritual contracts and I had had one, I did not know why I always got such bad press. I mean, really bad press, every single day. I mean, in 1997, I was the third most written about woman in the English press. Wow. It was Lady Diana, it was the Spice Girls, and then it was me. <laughs> so it's a lot of press. So I'm talking about, I was in the tabloids every day. I'd like to introduce Janine Regan Sinclair, the power behind this program. Janine is a spiritual consultant, a clinical hypnotherapist at number 10 Harley Street. A pioneer in her field, she created the Crystal Key Therapy, the Crystal Key Healing System, and later the revolutionary 21 Day Mind Detox. Can you explain the Crystal Key Healing and the 21 Day Mind Detox? In order to understand how the Crystal Key treatments work, you need to know a bit more about your body and its energy field. This first diagram shows the energy centres known as chakras running down the front and the back of the body. A healthy energy field shines and has vibrant colours of the rainbow all around the person, as shown in these two aura photographs that were taken of me a few years ago. So what sort of things can the detox help with? Um, I've used it for disease in the body, I've used it for addiction and addictive personalities, OCDs, self-worth issues, um, if you've got a history of anger and emotional toxi toxins in your body, it can be used for that. It, it's great with panic attacks and that type of thing as well. I'd like to introduce Dr. Marvash Hussain Gambles, MBE. Ma has a PhD in pharmacology. She's a homeopath and the founder of SAF International, an organic skincare company. A scientist and recently reformed skeptic, she's been turned by the abilities of Janine after meeting her by chance last summer. Ma, as a scientist, what do you think of all this? I'll be honest here, um, as a scientist I'm deeply rooted in evidence-based medicine and what we're talking about here, I can't explain it scientifically, but what I can say is what I've personally experienced is enough evidence to convince me that Janine is onto something very real. Um, um, I sometimes see patients homeopathically and I'll just give you one of the examples. There was a client who was getting non-specific stomach pain and I just couldn't work it out. So I asked Janine to just, just to scan her aura remotely, just see what's going on. 
and she sent me a text and I've still got that text as my scientific evidence and the text says she's got inflammation around her appendix. So the client goes um, to, the, to the doctor and has a scan and lo and behold um, the doctor finds some kind of shadow around her appendix. So they cut her open and they find a four inch of bowel tissue that's highly inflamed around her appendix. I mean, how do you explain that scientifically? You know, the GP, the doctor had to cut her open to find that, and Janine managed to, to scan that. And there's lots of other cases I could t talk about, but we haven't got time now. You can end up with a, a spirit attachment. You can end up with something called an entity. And entities are basically an energy mass. They're not something scary out of a horror movie like people think. Mm -hmm. It's just a technical term for an energy mass. I'd like to introduce Dr. Mangir Samantha Lawton. MD and author of books such as Punk Science and The Genius Groove. She has a diploma as a bioenergy therapist and has founded The Paradigm Revolution. Manjir, in your opinion, are spiritual energetic problems common? Well, actually, science tells us that um, all of this stuff we see around us, which we think is quite solid, when you break it down to deep, deep, deep beyond the atom, is actually basically information. And some people would say it's even consciousness, it's even mind. So actually mind comes before matter. It, it even creates matter. So everything is in fact created by information or mind or consciousness. So any physical um, entity that you can look around, anything from this chair to this room to everything to us, we are actually created by this information. So what an energy practitioner, or any other practitioner for that matter, but energy practitioners, uh, if they're successful, what they do is they actually get into that information that's deep to the physical. And they can access that information and uh, heal it. They can, um, they can actually bring the particles that need to be uh, brought together and bring that into light. And that's where true healing occurs. There's the Spirit Release Foundation, which is uh, founded by Dr. Alan Sanderson. Um, there's a Doctor Healer Network. There are growing numbers of doctors, including the uh, Royal College of Psychiatrists. They've got a spiritual interest group. And uh, there are growing numbers. And I believe as uh, younger people who have um, grown up with complementary therapies start to get qualified and go out there in the world, we're going to see more and more doctors who are open. Well, personally, in my own healing practice, I mean, uh, the way that Janine works, um, I had to smile by, because I you know, have been tuning into a lot of the same things. I have found that people with such mental health problems um, have entity attachments and uh, in order to uh, remove these attachments you have to you know have these uh, a certain technique but I, have, I myself have found that people uh, get a lot better when you actually remove these attachments so yes absolutely but again I think you need to take it into the scientific level as well and that uh, things like string theory and physics tell us that there's many dimensions to the universe and again, science is telling us that mind is fundamental. So basically, you have many dimensions of consciousness or mind. And it's in these different dimensions that are slightly different frequency to the dimension that we live in. That's where these entities reside. And if you have some emotions that are sort of weighing you down, if you have past life issues, then these entities can actually vibrationally attract onto you. So the way to get rid of them is actually solve the emotions, solve the issues that are coming in from past lives, then the vibration shifts the ge geometry of your frequency changes and what happens is the entities automatically fall off. IBS, chronic fatigue, that type of thing, panic attacks, I quite often find people have um, a small entity in the heart chakra which is causing their heart to, to pulsate much much faster than it should because it's causing stress, it shouldn't be there and it's a low frequency energy. Absolutely, I think depression is a huge problem in society. We just um, had privy to the latest pharmaceutical uh, data which shows that the, the drugs that we thought were so fantastic, the, the uh, uh, SSRIs that we, we've been using for the last few decades, they don't actually do that much. Um, so that data has just come out in the last few years. So, you know, keep an open mind to these things. Just because science can't explain everything at the moment doesn't mean it doesn't exist and it's not real. The other thing I'd like to say, I'm, I'm, I'm a practicing Muslim, and 
what I like about Crystal Key, it respects my, you know, respects God. It's, it's all, all the same. And I could do my prayers in the morning and use the Crystal Key to cleanse my home and my children. It just feels right. Now, I'd like to introduce Wendy Lee. Wendy Lee is a New York Times best-selling author of Prince Charming, JFK Jr., The Marilyn Monroe Letters, and The Jackie Kennedy Letters, to name but a few. She's a co-author of Life with My Sister Madonna. She's featured regularly in the Daily Mail, The Guardian, The Sunday Times. She also comments on television in the UK and the US on the British royal family and Hollywood. Wendy, how did you hear about Janine Regan Sinclair and her work? Okay, now I heard through Meg. And I um, trust Meg, but at the same time, I'm a great believer in astrology, and I didn't really want to go anywhere else. I had the treatment yesterday, and I'm still in absolute shock, because all my life, people have tried to hypnotize me. Until Janine, no one has ever succeeded. Fantastic. Goodness me, that's great. So, have you come across this type of treatment before? I never would have gone into this kind of treatment before, had it not been for Meg. And I didn't expect anything, which is why I was so stunned by the fact that A, I was hypnotized, I went into a kind of trance, and then I went right back to the age of three, and Janine guided me through all of this. And as it was yesterday, I'm still feeling the effects. I had very strange dreams last night, very interesting, deep, intricate dreams, and I have every expectation that the effects will continue. That's fantastic. Do you think problems like addictions and mental health, health issues need complementary therapy as well as traditional medicine to heal them? I think that uh, problems like addiction do need a combination of treatments, complementary and also traditional. Hey, do you have any advice for people who may feel they have an addiction? Yeah, definitely uh, try Janine's 21 day <laughs> detox. Um, I, I can't explain it but it worked for all sorts of addictions from food to love to shopping to drug to drink uh, combining with whatever else you're doing and staying healthy and you know eating if you just combine it and do this 21 detox it will completely change your life wendy would you recommend crystal key healing definitely would recommend working with janine and doing the crystal key healing i, I think it's incredible from what I understand about the work you do, and the crystal key healing in particular, is that most people who work in the spiritual realms of healing tend to work only with the seven energy centers in the body, or the seven chakras within the body. What you are doing, and why your work I feel is, is leading edge, is because you're incorporating 35 different dimensions or 35 different layers, and you're accessing a higher vibrational color the diamond ray, the diamond colour. And there aren't many people, if any, I certainly have not come across anyone as yet, who is bringing in and incorporating such a powerful vibration as you and this whole development. I think it's fascinating. There you have it, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, spirit attachment entities and non-specific pain. Alternative ways to treat addictions and many other diseases within the mind, body and soul out for Janine's website which is www.crystalkey.co.uk